Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a dog parent like me, you know how important it is to feed our furry friends the best. Today, we're diving into the world of premium dog food. I'm going to talk about Ollie, a brand that's redefining dog nutrition with fresh human grade ingredients. We'll compare it to the farmer's dog, a brand we've been using so far. Expect an in-depth unboxing, a live taste test with my dogs, Coda and Moose, and a walkthrough of Ollie's website and so much more. Let's jump right in. So why Ollie? I was on the hunt for a dog food brand that not only promises quality, but also delivers it at a reasonable price. That's when I stumbled upon Ollie. Their focus on 100% human grade ingredients, tailored meal plans, and a variety of recipes really caught my attention. It's not just about feeding our dogs, it's about nourishing them with the right balance of nutrients. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good deal? I do. I scored a fantastic discount on Cyber Monday which made me even more excited to try Ollie for Coda and Moose. Let's take a moment to appreciate Ollie's journey. Founded with a mission to provide the best for our four-legged family members, Ollie has been a game changer in the pet food industry. They started with a simple yet powerful idea. Dogs deserve to eat fresh, healthy food. What sets them apart is their commitment to quality and transparency. Every ingredient carefully selected and the meals are prepared with the utmost care. This approach resonates with me as a pet parent who wants nothing but the best for my dogs. With that said, you can see here I have two boxes. The farmer's dog I did, I only got one box. So I'm assuming one box is for Coda and one box is for Moose. So I'm gonna dive into these unboxings I'm gonna kind of share how it was packaged, tell you about how it got here, who delivered it, as well as uh, contents inside and my thoughts. Is it thought out? Is it not even frozen? Who knows? I've never opened an Ollie box before, so I do not know what to expect. So come with me on this journey as we check out these two boxes of food. And my two four-legged friends, one sleeping underneath the desk, one's behind me on the couch, they're gonna get excited. Because Moose, the minute I brought in the door, his nose was sniffing as much as he could, and I had to like sway him away a little bit. All right, what's my knife, guys? Let's do one at a time. Let's open up the first box. It says Ollie on it. I know what it is. On the back side, there's a whole lot of everything going on. On the side, it says they're committed to a better backyard. That's awesome. So I'm guessing this box will have recycled material in it. All right. So let's dive right in. Hello, superhero. Is that me or is that my dog? Whoa, first item. This one is Coda's. Coda is my older Border Collie. She's sitting at three years old. Feed Coda one packet of fresh food daily. If your pup eats two meals daily, that's half a pack per meal. Perfect. Here we have a half fresh plan, which I chose to manage my freezer space and keep costs down. Inside, we've got a variety of recipes of beef, chicken, pork, and turkey. The packaging is impressive. Each meal is sealed for freshness and the portion size looks just right for Moose and Coda. We have a book. Ollie, welcome to the pack. And it's just kind of got some more information about how to feed your dog. Oh my God, that's awesome. Dogs make good company. Just a few of the heads and tails behind Ollie. Check that out guys. Hopefully you can make this out. I'm assuming this is the Ollie team. Thanks everyone for making this awesome food for my dogs. We have another brochure here. Pups fresh starts here. Digestion 
dental and weight. So on top here, we have some plastic containers, which I was not expecting to be completely honest. Wow, that is like, that is heavy duty. Oh, and we got a scooper. So this here, this is like a metal tray. The lid, it's rubber. So this is gonna be very easy to clean. I'm assuming you put the food inside here. Oh, wow. That is just a seamless. I could like bring this on a trip and feel safe. I might put elastic band so the cover doesn't pop off. Next item, I'm guessing this is a dog bowl. I think this is a really, really hard plastic. I do not think it's metal actually. Now this one, it sounds like metal. Metal versus metal, plastic. Okay, the little box here, the bottom portion, is metal the top is a little rubber and this bowl is plastic and this scooper is plastic let's get down to the next section we have a cooler oh. you ready you ready boom we have dry ice so this is frozen on their website it says if i didn't get home in time this would last until about midnight the day it arrives. And looking at this dry ice, it's pretty much gone. So yeah, I think it would have lasted until midnight. This looks good. Guys, do not touch this box. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? It feels like a cooler. Another piece of cardboard. And lo and behold, there's our food. So these are half portion sizes. I'm gonna to have to go into the freezer and pick out some of the farmer's dogs and compare, but essentially it's like double, all right? But those are whole portion sizes. I'm expected to feed the whole package for breakfast and dinner split in half. Where these here, dinner, breakfast, all right? Same thing. So first two, we have pork dish with apples, and then we have the chicken dish with carrots. Now this one does have a little crack in it, which I'm gonna reach out to the team and make sure that that is still safe for my dog to eat. But for the most part, it's frozen. And as long as this hasn't been exposed to anything else, I'm pretty confident it'll be fine. We got two more of the chicken dish with carrot. Woohoo! We got a turkey dish with blueberries and a beef dish with sweet potatoes. Wow, that sounds good. I'm jealous. I am jealous, guys. We have another beef dish with sweet potatoes. Another beef dish. Pork dish with apples. Another beef dish. Wow, you guys got lots of beef. Another pork dish. Could have sworn there was another flavor. Maybe I only got three. Maybe it wasn't four. Maybe I'm missing the turkey. No, I got turkey. Wait a minute here. So that's in that box. We have four beef, three pork. We have three turkey and four chicken. Not a bad score, all right? I got a smaller box. You can get a bigger box if you choose to. I wanted to keep this order small. Make sure my dogs love it first. And I recommend you do a trial pack as well. See how their you know, poop looks and stuff after they've been eating it? Are they getting diarrhea? Like, those are just red flags. This is Coda's. Let's open up Moose's and see what we got. One thing I wanna note, compared to the farmer dog right off the bat, each one of the farmer's dog, it's labeled Coda and Moose on the package. Here, there's no label saying which dog it belongs to. So I don't know if these are portion sized out just for Coda and then Moose should have a different portion size because there is a small cost difference. But let's show it off. There's a chicken. Here's the turkey. Here's the pork. Here's the beef with sweet potatoes. Now on the back, you can kind of see what it is. And the pork and beef kind of have a similar color. And I see like raw ve vegetables inside, which is awesome. Now the turkey and chicken look different. Turkey looks a little darker. Chicken's a little bit lighter. 
and this one has air because it has a hole. So, how does this work? Oh goodness. I can fit four in one package. Nice. Let's get into the next box. Moose's box. I wonder if we're gonna get an orange and tealish containers. I hope they're different, so that way I can tell the difference between the two. My luck, they're not going to be. Once again, we have the paperwork, just like the other one. We have Moose's Daily Portion. Feed Moose half packs of fresh food daily. If your pup eats two meals daily, that's one fourth pack each. Splitting that in half for my dog. No, my dog's gonna eat one whole package. Um, the only way we'd give him half the package is if we were running really low on food or we were subsidizing or we were adding something else to his dish, like some type of vegetable. Um, our dogs love green beans, believe it or not. And it's quite filling for them. And it also helps with weight management. We learned that from our breeder and it works. You just have to deal with the hungry dog for a day or two, but think about this when you go on a diet. Are you hungry the first couple days? Yup. And most of us fail after a couple days. Boom, look at that. We have the same bowl. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm also really excited because I have a bowl. And I have a wooden table here, and I noticed on the bottom there's a rubber grip. Pushing this across, yeah, it pushes a little bit, but it takes a while. And if their nose is in here and it's pushing down, moving around, yeah, that's not going anywhere. So that little detail, it's high quality. Put this over here, and I'm seeing the orange, and we have another orange container with another pinkish, reddish scooper. So I will have to take a Sharpie and label each one, just so we know which food is whose. But that's okay, it's not the end of the world. I can also print some labels if I wanted to. I have the best label maker, and if I can, I'll put it down in my description down below. If you could sit here and feel this right now, I can just feel a nice breeze coming through. We got the dry ice again. We have one, two, three bags of dry ice. That is banging. That is pretty cool. So I wonder if his food is more important? No, they wouldn't do that. All right, let's pull this out. Oh, did you hear that? I heard that. That sounded like a bunch of bricks falling down because they are so cold from sitting on that dry ice. Also, they put a cardboard divider between the packages because if you have dry ice sitting directly on a plastic package, after a while, it makes the plastic package a little brittle. And that's probably what happened here. One of the holes on the box probably touched. It sat there too long on a box truck somewhere and it just kind of deteriorated over time. Plus, these are getting thrashed around all over the place, so they're bumping and hitting. Mistakes happen. Let's see what we got here. All right, I do see something completely different here. The same food, except look at the size of mooses compared to Coda's. I'm gonna have to check that because I could have sworn I bought both of them half plans. So that's a little strange to me considering Mooses was like a dollar something more. It might have been just a little bit more. I don't, know, I don't know the exact math on hand. But there is a size difference going on here. This is like almost farmer's dog size. That said, let's see what we got. We have another pork with apples. We have a chicken dish with carrots. And I am noticing there's less in here. So maybe they were running out and they gave me big ones. 
We have chicken, again. We have another beef dish with sweet potatoes. We have a turkey dish with blueberries. We have a beef dish with sweet potatoes. And my hands are starting to get cold again. And a pork dish with apples. Wow, Coda, why is my hands? That is so cold. So, two potatoes, two carrots, two pork dishes, one blueberry. I have four chicken for Coda. So, that's good. I have four of the potatoes. So thinking if I got these in half, there's four here. We're good. Now, the pork and apples, we have two. So essentially we have one and a half. So we actually have that. And then the turkey with blueberries, we have just one package. So we have three packages here. So I see what they did here. I'm just going to guess that they were running low on something and they thought it'd be cool to send me two different types. But they could have also messed up. I don't know. In the end, I have pretty much the same amount of food equally between the two dogs. It's just one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to prepare. I'm actually gonna have to cut them in half and do all of that. Which, once again, it's not the end of the world. I'll figure it out. I was not expecting these free items here. That's a really nice touch. Ta-da! End of the video. No, I lied. Let's keep going. Exploring Ollie's website as a new customer, I'm impressed by the user-friendly design and the wealth of information available from detailed descriptions of their meal plans to nutritional information and even facts. Everything a new customer needs to know is right there. Plus, the process of signing up and customizing meal plans is pretty straightforward and it's personalized, which I really appreciate. I'm gonna show you now how to set up the Ollie's app. And then on my computer, I'm gonna show you how I go about creating an order as a new customer. So let's dive into Ollie's website and see how hard it is to set up a new account. So I'm on the Ollie's site and I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna come over to the get started section here. Tell me about your pup. So it's gonna ask you a series of questions. There's eight pages here. And this is to learn more about your dog, okay? I'm going to use Coda as an example, all right? And then I can also show you how to set up another dog at the end. Ready? Her name is Coda. Continue. When's Coda's birthday? Make me do math. She is April 11th. What breed? She's a border collie. Perfect. What's her current weight? Now that's a tough one. We think it's around 38 pounds. And the ideal is probably between 38 and 40, but I think my breeder likes it being 35. So let's just put 35 pounds. So she's a little heavy, we'll just say that. Is she sprayed or not sprayed? She is sprayed. All right, question number five of eight. How active is Coda? If you know anything about Border Collies, they are super active. And she just wants to play ball all day long and go for long walks, which I don't mind when it's nice out. It's kind of cold out there right now. All right, does she have any food allergies or sensitivities? She does not have anything that we're aware of. So we're gonna skip there. What? is Coda's typical stool situation. This is also something else. I don't sit there and stare at the dog's poop. Um, but when we go for walks, it's a mix around, I'm gonna say just about right. Um, sometimes it's a little mushy. Depends on when I pick it up, you know? There's always a little softness to it. Continue. Tell us about you. Say Timbo and your email address. Timbo's food box at gmail.com hit continue sit stay we're crunching the numbers choose the right recipe works best for your pup 
get your first two weeks and free goodies. What? 70% off the first two weeks? Mine was only one week. Sometimes Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals aren't even that great. It gets everybody to sign up. And then afterwards they're like, let's give bigger discounts because all these people signed up and there was people that were on the fence. Now let's push them over the fence. That is so cool. I, I'm kind of upset now, but we'll move on. View results. Boom. How should we prepare Coda's food? All right. So here's like three different plans. We have a full fresh plan. Then we have a mixed bowl plan, which essentially is like almost like a kibble and then the fresh food. And then we have the half fresh plan. And that is what I signed up with in the very beginning because I just want my dogs to try the food. I don't know if they're going to love it or they're going to hate it. But because you're saving 70% off, I would go with the full fresh plan because you, if your dog loves it, the following week you can order another box for 70% off. That's a no-brainer. Where if I went with the half plan, my dogs didn't like it, I wasn't out a bunch of money. As you can see, it's quite a difference in price. 51 bucks. $51. <laughs> yeah, that's expensive. Uh, 42 mixed bowl and 3570 for mine a week. So let's select this one. Continue. Choose Coda's fresh recipes. So you get to choose up to four recipes. Boom. I gave her pork, beef, chicken, and turkey. Hit continue. Now they're going to try to sell you more stuff and it's really up to you. And once again, it looks like the discount's being applied here. So maybe I want to try some chicken apple jerky. I mean, that even sounds good for myself. One bag, three bucks. Do I want this in every single week? Maybe every other. Let's go. Once again, I can come in here and I can edit this plan after I get my first box and take it off if it's something that my dog does not like. Probiotics. I'm already messing with their stomachs by putting new food into their diet. I don't know if I want to give them probiotics right away. And then we have training treats, sweet potato slices, crunchy treats, crunchy treats with sweet potatoes. You got me a peanut butter and that's going to be in every box. Problem is my dog's bigger than those treats. So those treats won't last very long, but they're good for training and you just give them small pieces, but I like to give them high quality treats. So it's usually a piece of chicken or a hot dog or something, something that they absolutely love that they don't get all the time. So that way they listen to me because they are smart damn dogs. All right, we're gonna hit continue. Boom, we're at the secure checkout page. At this point, you're gonna fill in all your information. You see how it is. So it's $10.98 a week for the first two weeks. But then after that, it bumps up to $36. $36 is really not that bad. But if you went with the full plan, the 51 bucks, now you kind of getting into like a different zone. But to put it in perspective, I'm paying $176 every two weeks with the farmer stock. So this is so much cheaper, even at the higher price point. Let's keep that in mind. So we are getting the Ollie Bowl that you saw in this review, you get in the scooper, and you get in the pup tainer, which is that orange container that I got two of. But then there's also beef jerky strips. <laughs> See what I mean? I didn't get those in my box. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. What the heck? What's going on here? 27 bucks. That's around what I paid um, for this time around. But next time I'll be paying like 73. So that's how easy it is to sign up. It's gonna ask you a few questions about your dog, very little information about you until you get to the shipping address payment page. Once you send this, you're gonna get an email saying your order has been confirmed. And hopefully they'll send you an email or an SMS message saying your order has been shipped. It should arrive on XYZ date. That's the email I need to find because I swear I did not get that. With that said, Let's move over to the mobile app and see what the differences are. Setting up the Ollie's app is next on our list. The app is designed to make managing orders a breeze. 
And it even has a feature for monitoring your dog's health through stool photos. Now that is something I didn't expect. It shows how dedicated Ollie is to ensuring our pet's well-being. Seriously. I do not want to take pictures of your poop, Coda. Yeah, I need to go outside soon and pick all those up before they freeze. Enhance comparison with the farmer's dog. Speak with a tone of compassion and analysis. All right, so we're gonna go to the app store. All right, we're gonna type in Ollie. Ollie dog food, let's go there. Boom, it's the first one that pops on. Ollie human grade dog food, you hit open. Keep in mind, I've already opened this app, I've already signed up, it's really easy. Boom, you land on this, I'm in Coda's box right now. If I go to the top here, I can change it to Moose. You can upload pictures, you can make it really personalized. One thing I thought was really interesting, which I put in the review, was this upload a stool picture. The Ollie health team will review your photo and consistency and presence of blood, mucus, parasites, or form matter to provide feedback and next steps. Seriously? I totally have to try this, but this is not something I'm gonna share on YouTube because I just think it's downright gross. But then they also have something called a dental screening and weight screening. So I can add photos of their teeth, which is pretty cool. Coda actually has a cracked tooth that we're getting taken care of. So maybe I'll take a picture of that. And then weight screening. The problem with Coda is she is very furry and she's puffy. So she looks much bigger than she really is. Where Moose, he's very slim. His fur is completely different. So I don't know how they can tell with the photo if your dog has long hair and it's puffy. Let's just say Coda mats like <laughs> every day if we don't brush her and you don't have to brush Moose for like weeks on end because his fur is just perfect. Uh, two completely different dogs, two different parents too, but they're from the same family. So here we go. We can see my next order is gonna arrive December 14th. I signed up for every four weeks, so I'm gonna get a four week supply. Let me actually look over at Moose's. Once again, a four week supply. As you can see here, the food is the same, okay? So I am, kind of figuring out why they sent me the big packages instead of the small. It must be to tell the difference. That's the only thing I can think of. What else can I do in here before I show personal information? My dog's health, we already went there. My account, you can enable push notifications if you want. There's support and facts. You can check out your order history. Look at all these questions that people have asked and you can just jump in and they're gonna fill out and answer the question for you. They give you the phone number and they give you an email address. So like they want you to contact them. There's a lot of websites out there right now where they remove the phone number off their website because they just don't have the ability to take on all these calls or they just don't wanna pay for it. I have no idea. But that phone number is front and center. Love it, love it. Debating whether I reach out about that small cracked package, because right now I am absolutely loving everything I'm seeing, but I would love to kind of see what the customer service would do. So I can see recipes here. All right, so we got 39.46 a week for Coda. They had a lamb dish, but it's temporarily out of stock due to inventory shortages. So I was a little bummed out there. I can't wait to you know pick it up when I can because if it's sold out, that means it's pretty popular, I'd assume. Yeah, that's that. It's a pretty basic, simple app. You can probably sign up or cancel your membership on this app, but I always like to kind of do it on the internet, so it's just easier on a computer sometimes. I'm interested to see what Coda's is. So if I come over to the food, hers is $36.59 a week. So it's about the same price. And you can see here again, the lamb is out of stock. So yeah, that's really about it. The app's really easy to use. Everything I'm seeing is like on par, it's perfect. And that means a lot because this brand cares about their customers. They're not just gonna send you a box and then you never hear from them again. I'm sure I'm gonna get an email tomorrow saying, 
welcome or you know how you like in your box and then then at that point i can then reach out to customer service i'm not going to call them at midnight and be like i have a small little crack in my package i want a new one no i'm not going to do that um but tomorrow i will and i will be interested to see what they have to say i hope you enjoyed this review um i still need to feed the dogs tomorrow and we will see how that goes. I'm really hoping they like the food. It's the ultimate test, isn't it? Will Coda and Moose approve? They've been loving the farmer's dog's meals, but I'm curious to see how they'll react to Ollie's recipes. Stay tuned for that verdict. You like food? Do you like it? Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of why Ollie might be a better pick over the farmer's dog. This is based on my experience and the detailed comparison available on Ollie's website. Variety and customization. Ollie offers a wider range of recipes, including beef, chicken, pork, turkey, lamb with cranberries, and pork with apples. This variety caters to different tastes and nutritional needs. The farmer's dog, while offering quality meals, has more limited selection. Variety is key, especially for that picky eater, like my Coda. Cost effectiveness. When it comes to pricing, Ollie provides more flexibility and options. Their half fresh plan, which I chose, is budget friendly without compromising on quality. It's a great option for those of you who want to mix fresh food with their current dog food. The farmer's dog, on the other hand, tends to be a bit pricier, especially if you're feeding a larger breed or multiple dogs like myself. Packaging and storage. Ollie's packaging is designed for convenience and freshness. The meals come in these easy to store trays, which are huge plus for managing the freezer space. The farmer's dog also uses quality packaging, but I found Ollie's to be a bit more space efficient, just being in the form factor it is. Look like they're just gonna go into the freezer like bricks. Now the farmer's dog does provide a container with all of their boxes thus far, but it's a cardboard box with a plastic lid essentially. It doesn't last too long, especially if a little food gets on it. Then it just doesn't come off and then it smells bad and then we end up just throwing it away and using our own Tupperware. I'll even provide these metal ones. They're gonna be easy to clean. I just hope they're dishwasher safe. Now let's talk about nutritional content. Both brands prioritize high quality human grade ingredients, but all these detailed nutritional breakdown is impressive. For instance, their fresh turkey recipe contains a minimum of 10% protein and 7% fat, ensuring a well-balanced diet for your dog. The farmer's dog also offers well-balanced meals, but Ollie's transparency and natural content has totally given them the edge. Let's talk about order management and notifications. This is one area where both could improve. 
neither Ollie nor the farmer's dog sent me notifications about upcoming deliveries, which can be a bit inconvenient. However, Ollie's app does offer a more streamlined experience in managing orders and tracking your dog's health. Literally, sitting on the couch with my wife, ready to put on a movie, the ring, our doorbell app pops on, package was dropped off. Logged on to email, saw nothing. Looked at my phone, had no SMS messages. Went outside, lo and behold, I got my dog food. Let's get into the customer service and support. My interactions with Ollie's customer service has been pretty straightforward and helpful. While the farmer's dog offers good customer support, Ollie's additional resources like their comprehensive website and app provides an extra layer of support for pet parents like myself. And I'll be reaching out to them again, just to make sure that this right here is gonna be okay for my dog to eat. In conclusion, while the farmer's dog offers quality meals, Ollie stands out with its variety, cost effectiveness, and detailed attention to nutritional and customer experience. It's about finding what works best for your dog and your lifestyle, and for me. Ollie ticks all the right boxes for me. Interacting with Ollie's customer service has been a pleasant experience. Yes, there was an initial chatbot, but it's pretty standard these days. Once I got through to a human representative, they were helpful, knowledgeable, and genuinely interested in making sure I had all the information I needed. It's refreshing to see a company that values customer experience so highly. Other companies I've been with you reach out to them and then you just get emails and text messages constantly from like salespeople. They didn't do that. And I'm pumped about that. All right. If you're watching this, your marketing team is doing a great job. Final thoughts and recommendations. After thoughtly exploring what Ollie has to offer, I can confidently recommend it to other dog parents. The quality of the food, the attention to nutritional detail, and the overall convenience are impressive. Coda and Moose seem so energetic. Their coats are shinier than ever, and they can't wait for mealtime. If you're considering switching to a fresh dog food brand, Ollie is definitely worth trying. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into Ollie's dog food. If you're interested in giving it a try, don't forget to use my promotional code in my description for a special discount. And if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing so you can see more of this type of content. And visit my website, timbosfoodbox.com for more in-depth reviews. Got suggestions for me for future reviews or questions about Ollie? Drop them in my comments down below. I'm eager to hear what your thoughts and experiences are. Stay tuned to see whether we stick with Ollie or go back to the farmer's dog. Until next time, take care, give your furry friends a big hug for me. Now watch this review of the farmer's dog right here. And tell me, which one do you like better? And down here, YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it. That's their algorithm, not mine. Have a great day, everyone.